Hi everyone, welcome to SheTV. I'm Christina Renee. We are doing another night of 365 days of no fear. And uh, tonight I believe is 53 and days, days 53 and days 54. And so I have a couple verses for us. Um, and this is dealing with the fear of man and how we don't need to be afraid of what men think. We don't have to be concerned or worry ourselves about what any person down here thinks about us. Now, I'm not saying that we should be rude and live um, callous of other people's feelings. <laughs> and, um, you know, this is what I want to do and screw you kind of thing. That's not how we want to live. <laughs> but God doesn't want us to be um, overly concerned with other people's thoughts and opinions and what they might say to us. Um, we don't want to live in the fear of someone else. I remember when I was married, this, this just came to me actually. I remember um, the last few years of my marriage um, when I was married and, and for those of you who know, I lived in a very controlling, abusive relationship and of course I didn't know it so much. Um, I whatever. So I remember the last few years, I was so in so much fear that of my of my husband at the time that I would be constantly rather than thinking what is the best for me and my family or even what's you know, what would God want me to do? What would um, you know, I was constantly afraid and what would Rick want me to do? Is it okay if I do this? I mean, what if Rick doesn't like what I do? What if, what you know, it's just this constant fear. And in, in the back of my head, I was always concerned about what he thought. Now that's kind of an extreme example, but there might be some of you, if you're in a dating relationship or if you're in a marriage like that, um, that's not right. That is not, um, God doesn't want you to live in fear. And if a person loves you, they will, um, you know, love repels fear, love gets rid of fear. So you should feel safe and secure with, within your relationships. You should be okay with being who you are. Um, God wants you, he created you special. He created you uni unique with um, gifts to bring to the world, with um, your personality, with um, your thoughts and how you do things and your flair and your finesse and, and how you can love people and how you can touch people's lives. That's, that's yours alone. That's your fingerprint is on that. And God wants you to be you without being afraid of what others think of you. And there is obviously we know so much of that goes on. Um, there's so many people who, um, you know, how many likes did I get on this post? How many um, comments didn't I get or or the bad comments that we get and we can be sick about it. I mean, I, I totally know what that feels like. Um, I've had some very prominent people that um, I that were high up in, in church leadership over the years um, say very hurtful things to me via message and um, it does affect us our words do affect and what someone else does think we want people to like us we don't I think the majority of us you might maybe some of us are stronger than others in this area but we overall we don't want to we want people to like us we want to be you know um, I don't want to say popular, but we want to be well liked. No one, I don't think, enjoys being um, spat upon or hated, or you know, th there's just um, nobody wants that. And but God doesn't want us to live in fear of it. He wants us. Um, the verses that I'm gonna read tonight have to do with only being concerned of, of one, of one man, of one person, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and and His Father, um, and that you know it's like performing to the audience of one i don't know if you've ever heard that phrase um it, you were living for the audience of one and it is as as maybe as small as it seems and maybe unrealistic as it seems um it is true and it actually is a very secure knowing that nothing anybody down here thinks about me matters eternally that my fate even here that 
even if the, my boss at my job, I'm doing the best that I can and I have people that hate me at my job and I've, I've been through many jobs like that where I've had jealous women spread lies about me or I've had, you know, where if I didn't sleep with the boss, then they would um, not promote me or they would treat me really bad. Um, and it would, you know, just so much turmoil and just in the work, just trying to make a living, right? Um, and, you know, so there's so many scenarios, even in relationships with other people, you can have a neighbor maybe, um, maybe you have get together with your friends and maybe there's a riff there, um, an un underlying riff and you're concerned about what they think about you, what your friends think about you, what, you know, any of that. There's, there's just so many opportunities, I believe, that the enemy can trap us and um, make us worry and be concerned. Um, and God is saying you don't have to worry about that. So the verse I wanna to read tonight is Matthew, out of Matthew 10. And we're gonna start with verse 28 and it's gonna to go to 31. And um, the verse is, um, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. But rather be afraid of him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two little sparrows sold for a penny, and yet not one of them will fall to the ground without your father's notice. And even, it says, but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So fear not, then you are more valuable than many sparrows. And I mean, Jesus didn't come to die for the sparrows. He came to die for you. And God didn't create you in, in your mother's womb special, specially designed with specific DNA and very specific fingerprints and all of that to not care, to just let you fall by the wayside. And you know, this is even very, um, encouraging to me even as I'm speaking this because um, you know faith comes by hearing right so the Lord has a plan for your life and he doesn't want fear to stop that plan and if you are concerned with what man thinks of you then that could if there's anything if you're having a tough time making decisions and you believe in your gut that it's the right thing to do you believe that God wants you to do it um, but you're afraid of what others might think um, um, I think that you, for those of you who were hearing this tonight and this has been bothering you, then the Lord wants you to know, do not fear what they think. He loves you and he matters more than anybody else. I remember, um, there was a very rough time in there. Um, I've had many rough times, but I remember, um, really feeling, I, I, I went to work out at at the gym one time this was a few years back and I knew um, that my past which is not I'm not super proud of some of the things that I've done although I um, I for one I, I did I've done the best that I can every phase of my life with the knowledge that I've had so at any rate um, I there was a rumor spreading around at the the gym at the time and I um, found out about it and I was very it was very tough to show up there. Um, I didn't think that I cared until I discovered um, that um, that there were these men that were thinking these things about me and and women too. And I, it was a bunch of you know, it was blown out of proportion and lies, and um, it wasn't very pretty. And I had to you know, stick my chest out and say, it doesn't matter. You don't pay my bills. God pays my bills. God knows where I am. God can take care of me. I don't need their approval to work out here. I don't need um, their approval for any part of my life. I don't need to worry about if they judge me because they are not my judge. They are not in any position to judge my life. The only one who is capable of judging me is the Lord himself, and he doesn't. He, he's that, that verse, I, I just saw a post about that. I think my sister, Laura, posted this um, the, recently. Um, the only one who is worthy to cast stones didn't cast a stone. And, you know, that's about the story of the woman, um, the adulterous woman. Um, anyway, um, so that all being said, do not fear what man thinks. Um, God loves you. And I just pray that you will continue to walk in his goodness and in his favor and in his mercy. Know how much he loves you. 
Um, it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't even matter the screw ups that you do today, tomorrow. You know, he knows all of that. And he, um, if you are hearing this tonight, then he has directed your steps to it. And he has amazing things in store for you. And do not fear, fear what man thinks because God approves of you. God loves you and he's, he's crazy about you. He thinks you have a beautiful smile. He thinks that your sense of humor is, is exact. He loves, he laughs about you when you're not even looking because he's, he gets a kick out of you. He smiles in great fondness and he, he's saddened because you don't know how much he does love you. And he really does love you. If you think about any of you who are watching this and you have little girls, and for some reason I just feel like there's probably only women watching this one tonight. But even, even and I've raised little boys, so if, if you are a, if you can picture yourself or picture a little boy or picture a little girl two years old and how much you would love that little girl and you watch them playing um, outside in the sandbox and they're just playing with their cars or their, um, you know, we used to play with Barbies in the sandbox. <laughs> anyway, you're watching them play and your love can be so overwhelming in those moments by just watching them and, you know, knowing how much you love them and how much you protect them and you don't want anybody to come in and harm them. That is how God feels about you. And I just pray God's blessing over you. I declare that you will move farther um, in the next days and weeks to come in the purpose and that God has for you, that you will grow in your confidence in who you are to him, that no fear will stop you from doing what God has purposed for you to do. Well, girls, I hope that you are having a great night and that the rest of this week will go right great for you. The Friday's almost here. Um, and just enjoy your life where you're at. Um, don't worry about what people think. Enjoy where you're at and know that God loves you. He will provide the right people at the right time um, to encourage and support and love you. All right. Thanks for joining me and um, we'll talk to you soon.